This is the most expensive home built in Miami. Almost $100 million cost. This is the way Carlos Justo likes to sell houses. Multi-million dollar houses. That one I sold, that one I sold, that one I sold, that one I bought. Want to buy a home on Miami Beach's star-studded Star Island? Carlos claims he has sold more homes there than anyone. This is Puff Daddy right here, which was the best deal, in my opinion. Next one's owned by the Estefans. I sold that to them. Uh, two doors down is Rosie O'Donnell. When the Miami market was hot, Carlos was red hot selling $200 million in real estate in one year to multi-millionaires and to billionaires. He used a helicopter the way most agents use a car. Typically, whenever I get a client on a helicopter like this, they, they see the knowledge of the market, they perceive it differently. I get them forever. They end up saying, okay, this is, this is my team, this is my guy. When times were good, he toured around town in his chauffeur-driven Rolls Royce. Million-dollar homes weren't his business. He was only interested in multi-million-dollar homes and the people who owned them or wanted to. That was then. Today, the Rolls has been replaced by a Land Rover, and the high flyer, who was worth $20 million in 2005, is now $12 million in debt and declaring bankruptcy. So you, you owned this home? I owned this home, and it didn't sell... We did the renovation, it didn't sell for about six, seven months. In better times, home was this seven million dollar Miami mansion. When the market tanked, Carlos could no longer afford the taxes, a hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars a year, and the mortgage. And how much did you lose in the process? Over two million, like two seven. This one is gone. He still owns five homes, all facing foreclosure. How many homes did you own? I don't know, twelve. Twelve homes. And what happened to the seven that are gone? Well, either sold or lost. To the banks. And along with my millions. It is a story of a spectacular rise and fall. Carlos Justo came to Miami from Cuba at age 11. He began his working life as a janitor and flipping burgers at McDonald's and became a multimillionaire. Soon it will all be gone. All my properties that I have a mortgage on, I believe are in foreclosure. But he Only refuses to be seen as home. a victim. I did it. It was all my doing. How do you describe what drove you? Greed, ego. Nothing is ever enough. When the ego drives you, it's like it's more and more and more. By every measure, it worked very well for a while. Are you freaking crazy? What do you mean it didn't get affected that much? Do you want the statistics? The number of sales are probably down 80%, and on some markets, they're probably down 50% in value. Today, he is scrambling to keep his business alive and his head above water as bankruptcy court looms and 12 lawsuits threaten to sink him. My business is basically selling real estate and I decided to become an investor. That was really my downfall. That pink house is one of the more modest homes here, and Carlos is trying to sell it for this woman. Hey. Oh, how are you? Ann, A-N-N-E, McDougal, M-C-D-O-U-G-A-L. There are lots of other n names in between, but I've been this is my third marriage. And this is her third home. She'd like to simplify life if someone would pay her around $11 million for it. Why don't you tell her the structure, the concept? You the know that I'm interested only in money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so let me give you the basic numbers. Okay. Okay, $2 million now, and then they would lease the home for up to five years. It's a creative lease-buy deal. Carlos says that's what's necessary to move houses in a down market. Anne wants nothing of it. But when it comes to Carlos, she is a big fan. He's a fabulous, fabulous person. And he, ha he brings an excitement wherever he goes. Not many real estate agents can boast that they share their penthouse apartment with a group of Buddhist monks. But Carlos does which may explain why he remains so calm, so upbeat in the face of adversity. Look at their serenity. Look at their peacefulness. 
no matter what it is, they're so fulfilled and satisfied with like nothing. Are you going to join them and give everything up and stop selling real estate? I don't get that sense. No, I'm going to continue to sell real estate because I love what I do. Good morning, sir. How are you, babe? First, he has to clean up his personal financial and legal mess, and the real estate market has to recover. He thinks that's at least two years away. These foreclosures must end. You know, there are a lot of people right now that have properties that should not be had. Me included. I should not be. I should just stay to what I know, being a real estate salesman, not trying to be a real estate investor. In the future, I learned my lesson well. Carlos Justo, the high flyer who was unshaken by his crash to earth, says when the market comes back, he'll be ready and rich again. I'm Jeffrey Kaufman for Nightline in Miami.